Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is episode 18 of our Dwarven Fighter playthrough on Baldur's Gate 3. Um, Perhaps is right. I should get a mask. Yeah, you need to get a mask. It's a freaking pandemic out here, guy. Uh, but I realized at the end of the last episode that I'm pretty sure this is the guy that I need to talk to. He looks, yeah, it says right there, Mykonid Sovereign Spall. Got a lot of dead Mykonids up here and a and the odorous one too, so I guess stinks. But I do want to talk to this guy again real quick before we go up there and talk to him, because I think there's something more to be said with him. Also, I want to look at Gail's inventory, see. Okay, he's already sold the spells that he had. Just want to double check everybody, make sure. So many minds connected. What could they accomplish? We've kind of got everything where I want it to be. Everything seems okay. Let's double check and make sure everybody's hot bar is locked. This way I don't get excited and accidentally throw the, the uh, an item or something off of the hot bar. I've never had an issue with that one over there, so we'll leave it. All right, let's talk to this guy. Uh, Stormir. Welcome back. Have you made any new discoveries? I've heard of the Society of Brilliance. Never seen a hobgoblin like you before. Or trade with him. Let's talk about the Society of Brilliance. Understandable. We are small in number and rarely stay in one place for long. My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not be such a dire, hostile place. It's curious to find a surface dweller here. What has brought you down so deep? Um... Yeah, let's just be honest and say a mind flare infected me with a tadpole. Truly remarkable. But why come to the Underdark, where they hold so much power? Hmm. Explain the whole story. You were infected by an illithid tadpole. It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Omelium! this is important Zerkwad samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside his head, but he hasn't turned. No ceremony forces. That's impossible. That intrigue. Are you looking to have it extracted? Hmm. Yeah, how is it possible that an illithid is your friend? I have broken free from the Elder Brain's yoke. I no longer serve the Grand Design. I ask that you refrain from violence, while I respect that your opinion of my kind may not change. What is the Grand Design? A collective quest to eliminate the Gith and enslave all other humanoids. If that settles matters for the time being. Would you like a diagnosis? Open your mind to me. Let us see what lurks within. Uh, okay. As Omelum's mind pierces yours, the tadpole pulses with power. It feels ten times its size, alive, awake, almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation oh. period should be complete, as should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. It appears to be in some form of stasis. He's got some serious 
glitching going on. Not him, but the, the uh, mind flare. His tentacles are going crazy. Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure I know the answer to this one. When the stasis go away, we turn to a freaking mind flare. Let's see, can you expect extract a tadpole? No. It appears to be shielded from physical and magical influence. And even without the shield, the extraction would involve severe cranial trauma. Hmm. That doesn't sound ideal at all. It is not ideal. The process would surely kill you. Hmm. Yeah, let's tell him about the uh the ship. The Nautiloid. Fascinating. I have never set foot on one myself. They were our warships during the greatest eras of the Illithid Empire. We ruled the entire astral plane from Andex. The design was lost when the Gith rebelled and ended our domain. <coughs> Okay, thanks for the info. Of course. I am sorry I cannot assist you in two. Just get out of here with your crazy tentacles. An idea. Oh, perhaps I should start taking notes. There may be a way to bypass that stasis. There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind. Yeah, isn't this stasis why the tadpole hasn't killed me yet? I do not intend to shatter its protection. I need only bypass the interference that prevents me from communicating with the lava. Okay, what kind of alchemy are you talking about? A tincture distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. They have subtle psionic influence. I would require a fresh town of madness and Timask spores. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Uh -huh. Timasks cause confusion in those that approach them. The town is self-explanatory. Hmm. Doesn't sound like a good idea to be eating those. My formula will hamper the more harmful effects once the mushrooms are brewed into a potion. Your sanity, however much you possess, should remain intact. Okay, so where do I find these mushrooms? The Underdark, of course, although they are quite rare, and their discovery perilous. Hmm. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She served Mistra as a cleric. Uh, Lenore? Yo, where she live? The Southwest, when I last saw her, although. Her tower does have a tendency to move. Hmm. Huh. Or cleric have a bunch of dangerous mushrooms. She is quite fond of her garden. Lenore has always been a lonely sort. Nature was her only companion. I offered her the chance to join the society, but she refused. Her experiments on Susa Bark took priority. Susa Bark. Susa Bark is what we gotta have for that weapon thing, huh? Alright. May your travels be safe and swift. I have never 
seen anything like it. All right, so. Sugar poison. Don't. Her condition looks familiar. Poison derived from a wild weed common to the Underdark. Some local remedies could cure it. Or an antidote likely held by the poisoner. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, you've been poisoned, you need help. Aye, poison off a of Dwegar's blade. Dwegar's, that's how you pronounce it. A place to be stuck needing help. Just leave me, please. The Sovereign's thick fingers stroke the corpse at its feet. A droning melody greets you as the creature turns its gaze to you. Flesh talker, I show you a memory. Watch and listen. Alrighty. A violent vision grips you. Dwegar, dark dwarves, chopping myconid remains. They broke our peace. They killed our young. Hmm. The Sovereign's song slows to the pace of a dirge. It is still in mourning. We laid waste to many, but intruders remain. Lakewood. The Sovereign's song halts as it measures your worth. I sense your resolve. You will find Dwegar invaders near Lake's Edge. Cleanse the rot. Destroy them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Dwegar invaders? We can manage that. Better than picking this fight, surely. Okay, so she believes we can kill the Dwegars. Dwegars, Dwegar, I'd be flicky, flippy set. Why did they attack? Deep purples swirl into familiar shapes. Gnomes in mining gear, chased by Dwegar. The Dwegar seek a gnome. It is a guest. Hmm. Okay. An illusion comes over you. A Dwegar choking on a cloud of gleaming dust. I can spare you no warrior. Too many were lost. Okay. But accept this gift. It will help you exterminate. The Sovereign gifts you one more vision. A wall of vines parting to reveal glowing riches of magic and mind. Cleanse the rot. And they are yours. You do the circle a service. We will await word. It replies with an echoing screech and returns its gaze to the corpse. Unusual spores waft from the decaying flesh. Haste spore flask. Haste spore flask. Okay. Oh, I forgot I had this bomb. Put him down here. Yeah, both of those. Well, this one's not going to be empty, but that one is. Alright. I guess we need to go fight these Dwegar. In fact, let's 
Go ahead and quick save. Oh, okay, yeah, I keep forgetting. Somehow I got pet hook horrors here. I think I know the general direction. Corpses. These creatures did battle with Dwergar. I think I know the general direction I need to go. Longbow, huh? Let's have a look at... One, two, four with the short bow. Let's send him the wheel. Oh, he does, he's not proficient in that, huh? Whatever. Will has no need of a of a bow anyway. We'll pick up the swarming toadstool. We don't need the night light. I wonder can Will He can clip this one now. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is where we're supposed to go, but I don't like walking through this stuff. Decrepit village. Yeah, this is it. This is where they're at. Executed deep known. There's keeping folks out here. Ooh. Short sword of first blood. Deals an additional 1d8 slashing damage to targets that still have all their hit, all their hit points. So, if you get the first attack with this weapon, does quite a bit of damage. Who can we give that to? What if I gave that to Shadowheart? She can't use it. What if I gave it the wheel? He can't use it either. Okay, let's send it back to Thormir. No 1d8 plus 1 there, only 1d6. That's a nice sword, but nobody can use it. Nobody can use it, unfortunately. Ooh. Fluoride. Fluoride. I can't remember what that's for. Uh common underdark crystal. I guess they're not worth a whole lot except just to to sell, I guess, huh? What is that noise over here? Oh, it's Gale. Dude. Come on. Alright, let's get down here and see what we can see. We're going to end up having to have a run in with these gnomes. I mean, these, uh, Dragar. Okay. 
Yeah, there's nothing over there. Always have to look. I could climb down this net right here. And search these bodies. I think I might do that. I think I might do that. Ooh, first off, I'll get the gems, the shards, rather. Okay. Let's see what these people had on them. More bombs. Decent amount of shards out of that. Nice. How many we got now? Twenty nine or seven hundred twenty five. Goody. Put that right there by the monies. Alright. And there's more. Do I wanna how much time do I wanna spend doing this? I don't think I wanna spend any more time doing that to be honest. I do think we're gonna go into a quick save. Cause I'm pretty sure we're gonna be running into some of these Rhaegar pretty soon. Is it gonna be an ambush? I'm thinking it's gonna be an ambush. I'm thinking it's gonna be an ambush. Hide. Now, you hide. Come over here. But before you do your action, well, actually, you can go ahead and do your action. Let's bless everyone. Now, let's do a level one bless. And then, in turn, then hide. Come way over here. Stay here. I don't know. Whatever. I thought it was going to be an ambush. I guess no ambush. It was an ambush before. One of my other playthroughs, I know that. Looks like they tripped me this time. Uh, Fables of Faerun 4. We'll open this up and I'll pause for a second and then flip the page. For anybody who wants to read that, you can take the time to do that. Same as this one. Like, I've already read a lot of those things. Pretty sure all of them.
Maybe on full release or something. Oh wow. This is different. This is quite a bit different. Let's have a look at the blood spoon. We were surprised. Are just stumbling. Can hear you blinking. Noise gets you eaten down here. Reckon I'll hush you before something hungry comes along. His okay. fist grips an axe on his gnarled gray skin. You see the Absolute's brand. Yeah, let's do this one. Uh, I suppose the sound of me cracking your nut would carry down here. But spoil my hunt and you're dead. Yeah, what's the terrain ahead like? Share? You really are in the wrong place, son scum. Try this for useful. Falling down a deep dark hole is the kindest death you'll find in the underdark. Alright. Didn't say you could leave, did I? Another step and you'd get a kiss off my axe. Alright, let's Come attack on, this man, motherfucker down. Bed. I want to get this over with quick. Where's this other guy at? What? Who just did that? Go up closer to him. Let's get closer to him. That way we can get all three of them. <laughs> Neither one of them moved. Well, that didn't work out any way I thought it would. All right, let's do a level two bless. Go ahead and get everybody in that. Uh, and then wait. Will's automatically gonna do an elder blast against this nearest guy. All right, and then wait. I keep forgetting to do his familiar thing. Get his little thing going. Concentration broken. Right now would be a good time to throw some bombs, wouldn't it? Well, they're doing all kind of shit. Uh, let's do grease. They say the same thing. They have the same range. Okay. Hmm. Oh. 
Reanimate a corpse. Oh yeah, she does really good against the undead, huh? Freaking completely forgot about that. That guy up there is the one that's been giving me such a hard time, ain't he? No, let's not do that. Not do that. Too high, huh? I guess we'll do that. Take a health potion, because he already got beat up pretty good. that time. Ooh, resistance. Hmm. Wait a minute. Oh no! Oh no. I didn't know that was going to do that. Did not know that was going to do that. Mm. Such a dummy. Such a dummy. But I was stupid. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get over that anytime soon. <sighs> oh, well, then they stay there. Killed Will. Nice. Oh, he, she missed that time.
Alright guys. It's kind of a slow going fight here. Constant back and forth trying to deal with these guys, but I think we're getting a handle on it. I do believe we're getting a handle on it. He disappeared, but I know he's got to be right there somewhere. What if I did this? <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. Mm, she didn't have any more guiding bolts. Wow. We've used up a lot of uh, all of her spell slots. 100%. Nice. I'll take a health potion. See if we oh we can only do one per short rest. Still a menacing range attack. Why? Low because we're low ground and we're threatening and all that stuff, huh? Zero percent chance to hit him. Why is that? It did hit her. Dang it. I thought she'd be far, far enough back. Ooh. She's taking a decent amount of damage. Oh, you just teleported, huh? Oh. Oh, I don't. Oh, I gotta do level two, huh? Torment. Shit. Let's come back over here. Would it be hard for him to hit me at least? She has nothing but sacred flame. They're all too high to get to. Mm -mm -mm. What about acid arrow? Okay. Oh, the acid, the spores are still there. Nice. Not doing this any good though, because I can't can't actually get to him. Menacing range attack on somebody. Let's see if we can. Can't do nothing. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Can we? It won't let us? Why not? What about one of them? It won't let me do nothing. Pissing me off. <sighs> Alright, whatever. Bastard. You're a whole, you're a whole bastard. Mm -mm -mm. Ah. All of these I don't need. Okay. Yeah. 
That did a whole lot of nothing, didn't it? Haha. <laughs> One of them's dead. Now we got two more and the other one's about to be dead. All right, I think we got this now. Yeah, we wouldn't go hit that anyway. Uh, we can't do anything with her. We can't do anything with her. There we go. Oh, and she's almost dead. This is a long ass fight, guys. I did not intend <laughs> for this video to even be this long. Lordy, Lordy. So, how might I get up there? Oh, this way over here, huh? Okay. Didn't have to go around. Because I'm pretty sure there was a net here that's been destroyed now. So, anything I could use. There's nothing, huh? Oh! Ranged attack! Goodness gracious. What? What? Ooh. Did a little trick on you then, didn't I? Oh, uh, my guy right here is out of spell slot, so he can't, he can't do the same trick. Saving throws all day. Oh, still too high. I guess I could have took a range shot on that new one. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Did that sacred flame work? Yeah, I got the saving throw. Okay. Still only 9%, huh? About now. What about now? Fronti nulla <sighs> He can't cast a mirror image again. I really can't believe he's not out of spell slots already. Whatever, we'll, we'll cast a uh, blade ward. Just because it don't cost us anything to do so, and she can't do anything. She literally can't do anything, so we're just gonna let her stand here. He hit me for six. Oh, he's about to have a bad day. Oh, he missed what? 
I miss both of them. Can't do anything either. That was a long shot. Oof. Okay. Looks like he's just trying to get away from me. Didn't do any damage, huh? What? Ooh. One D four more damage with these attacks. Gotta hurt him get around over here. My guy gonna get beat up over here before I get around. Missing every time. Oh. See if we can get a shot. Oh man, one of twelve percent is gonna come through eventually. And he uses sacred flame over and over again. Ha 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 ha! I think that's gonna be game time right there for him. Yep. Yep. Yeah, he's not quite in range yet. She can take another cheeky shot. And miss again. Which is fine because he is in a tough, tough position. See if I can get around to his side right here. There we go. There we go. Lord have mercy, that was crazy. Let's do a short rest. Mm. All right, guys. I'm gonna have to go ahead and stop it off here. This video has ended up being way too much longer than I expected it to be uh, I didn't know this fight was gonna turn out to be you know freaking World War Vietnam links but um anyways I appreciate any support on the channel don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope to see all of you in the next video